Is your favorite non-stick skillet toxic? It's tough to say. I'll say it again. Is your favorite non-stick skillet toxic? Tonight we're discovering the scary truth about what's called Teflon flu. And while experts say it's rarely diagnosed, it's also hard to tell apart from other common illnesses. Tonight we're finding out more in The Answer. In the past 20 years, U.S. poison centers have logged over 3,600 cases of suspected Teflon flu, with 2023 seeing the highest number in decades. So what is Teflon, or fluorinated polymer? That's the coating you see on non-stick pans to help food not stick. The coating contains forever chemicals, or PFAS, which burrow deep inside the body where they can't break down. So how does this happen? When pans exceed 500 degrees, these chemicals leach into the air and food, causing symptoms like coughing, fever, and chills. Symptoms can appear immediately or even hours later, making the illness hard to diagnose. While properly used pans are generally safe, experts warn many misuse them. To stay safe, avoid adding butter or oil to create a barrier and prevent overheating. We want to note, when used properly, these pans are harmless, but experts say that many consumers are unsure about how to actually treat nonstick pans, leading to concerns about their safety. So what can you do to stay safe? One of the easiest ways to avoid overheating cookware and generating this gas is to make sure you add butter or oil to your pan before you heat it. That creates an invisible barrier between your food and the nonstick surface. And that's the answer.